This is Jonathan McNamara with the American Red Cross. I'm joined by my colleague Tony Briggs, and we're here at the George R. Brown Convention Center in Houston, Texas, with some very, very special guests who have been residents here in this facility. And I'm going to turn to you first. Or first of all, introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about what the last couple of days have been like for you, starting with the flood. Uh, dark is dark. When the flood came, we walked out into deep, deep water, cold water, and we hugged the houses because it was less deep up there. Then we had to get into the road and we went around the valley because it was less deep further down. Then we walked all the way up to Mesa and we stood in front of the uh, dollar, family dollar, waited for the trucks to come to us. The dollar was purchased and the truck that got us and we went and we got stuck on a curb and uh, they had to call the police and come get us. We had got out of one truck. At least my group did. She went in a second. We got out of the truck into the water, walked, went into a big old open dump truck climbing up the ladder, just plain ladder, and no covering over us. And it was taken off and we didn't know where we They said we're going to George Oak Brown, you know. We really didn't know where we were going to wind up. And then uh, we would go on and the truck would have to stop and swerve and we're going this way and we're back and this way. There's none to grab onto, but the police were there and holding us up. And then um, they helped us out and we came here and uh, Red Cross opened us with welcome arms, you know, here's a blanket, here's a sandwich, here's some water, <laughs> there's the bathrooms. <laughs> so James, and, you were telling me about what this has been like for you from your perspective that for people might not know, how much of the little things that are happening in your bathroom? Oh, the littlest things like somebody to come help walk your dog or somebody to come bring you something to eat because you know, it's a long walk over to the hot food so some people can't make it so the volunteers bring it to you so that's that's amazing what people are doing here and as soon as you see the red vest you know you know if you need help <laughs> so how have the Red Cross volunteers been for you guys here at the oh, shelter? They really have been terrific. If you need something, they'll find the person you need. You know, we joke around with them, you know. Where are we going? Are you joking? Are you joking around? Uh, <laughs> we joke around. I asked one guy, well, like when my son went to the yeah. hospital, I said, you're bringing him back, right? He goes, well, we bring you in. Where happens after that, we don't know. <laughs> but we, we have to keep smiling. Well, I was a touch of it. In fact, you said that the keep smiling part, and that's been something I've heard from so many people here, is that uh, a resilient spirit that is just inspiring for those of us who are just coming here to help. That you, know, you guys don't know what's coming next, and uh, but you're still positive. And, and I can say from the Red Cross perspective, and Tony, that we're going to be here as, as long as it takes, and we're going to help you in the next stage. So, thanks for just being great today. Uh, it's been really amazing to talk to you. And, I, I, look for, I want to follow you guys and see what well, happens thank next. you because we know you'll be at the next one too. Oh, gosh, we feel that we have another one. Yeah, it seems but like we come to Texas once a year. Yeah. It's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll thank you guys again. And for everyone watching this, this is what your donations are going to do. It's real people like this who uh, motivate us to get up every day and, and come here and do these long hours. So uh, for anybody who wants to learn more about the American Red Cross response here in Houston, visit redcross.org. And as always, uh, Thanks again for what you're doing, because without you, this wouldn't be possible. Thank so. you. Bye. Thank you.